Hey guys, Frank the Pest Geek here. Well, I'm on the road. As you know, I um, lost one of my techs, and so now I have to run this route. I'm, I'm on the lawn route. I'm in my NV200, which is how we do our lawn. And take a look outside. We're getting bad weather coming. So this is the challenge of doing work here in Miami is that I'm going to let this thing pass. I'm going to do the inspection on the lawn, uh, let it pass, and then we're going to go ahead and treat it. Um, and, you know, this was an hour commute to this territory. Um, we're in the north part of Miami. Where I'm at, I'm in South Dade. So if you are in a if you got an employee and you're trying to do eight hour work days, which this is tough in the summer, man, working a hundred degrees, hundred percent humidity, you're battling the weather where you got to slow down. It's going to slow you down and you got to get the production and you're sending a tech one way an hour into the territory and then working way back. And then you're in this area where we're at now, we're in North Miami. Um, and, it's going to be an hour back. I mean, I got six hours of inspection and two hours of commute. Um, that's a huge cost. And then you top of that, you're getting the constant rain now in the summer uh, where this is going to stop because you can't spray right before it's going to rain. Um, it ain't right. Uh, so we got to watch the weather and can't restructure the route because tomorrow you've got another route to do. And, you know, what do you do? So you just basically grin and bear it. Um, this is why production is very hard over here. Um, and if you're in lawn and ornamental, it's different than GHP right now. I'd be sweeping this house. If this was GHP, um, I'd be inspecting around for ants. I'd put down granular bait, uh, entice 10, Niban mother earth and spray inside doors and windows, all the entry points, the soffits. And we could literally still spray the perimeter um, with a lot of products that don't have rain uh, application, uh, like uh, neonicotinoids, we could spray. I mean, we can spray neonicotinoids on this lawn right now, and we can spray the fertilizer and the liquid, and nothing's going to happen. But if there's weeds and I got to do a spot treatment for weeds, guess what? I can't do it because I need at least a good hour rain safe for that thing to dry and control the weeds. So, when the customer says, I don't want you to come this week because it's going to rain all week and we're going to have disease and we're going to have problems, I would rather treat the lawn, be on top of it, know that there's a problem and then do a follow up in two weeks if I have to, than not do anything at all and try to wait until there was, you know, no rain going to be predicted. Can you imagine in Miami and South Florida trying to work? where rain is not predicted in the summer. I mean, we already got spring rains. Uh, it started uh, a week ago. We're starting to get rains like almost two to three times a week now. And it's impossible for you to say, when a client says, I don't want you to spray today because it's going to rain, we explain to our customers when we sign them up uh, on the program that there is no such thing that you're going to get serviced when you get serviced. And I'd rather be 80% effective today and prevent a problem than be 40 to 50% effective, uh, not effective if we wait, and then to try to be 100%. It's just this mentality of perfectionism that doesn't exist. It doesn't happen in the real world. Um, you know, there is no such thing as a perfect service. At best, we have an imperfect service that produces better results than any of our competitors. So take a look at the lawn. I'm going to check it out, see what's going on with this. Uh, take you guys along for the ride and check this out. Well, the weather cooperated and um, it actually shifted the other way. So we were able to get the lawn done. Um, did have a little bit of weed. The lawn looks really good. Uh, for the most part, you're going to see a little piece of that. But hey, check it out. Look. It's shifting. The weather is shifting that way. So we're good. We're solid. We're not going to get rained on uh, for the next, who knows, day or so. It's been raining here, she says, in this area. Uh, it rained last night. So we're, we got a little bit of um, 
a little bit of saturation in the lawn, a little bit of a little bit of rotting in the in the crown of the lawn, but eh, it should take care of itself. We didn't have to apply a fungicide. Hey, this is Frank Tepesky, wishing you a spectacular day.